guys, it's Daisy Styles. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fully adjustable halter for slack horses. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to. And yeah, the materials you'll need for this tutorial will be... First take a piece of leather and measure it halfway around the muzzle and leaving a little bit extra. Then attach jump rings to both of the ends, just like this. Then take another length of leather and attach it to this jump ring, like this. And then you want to put it over your horse's muzzle and then bring this part around and then decide around where to cut it so it fits loosely around the horse's muzzle. Then attach the piece you just cut to this jump ring. And it should fit loosely around like this. Now again, take another length of leather and measure it from a little bit above the eye to around the end of the muzzle and cut it. Then attach this piece to the muzzle piece like this and then repeat on the other side just like this. Now you want to attach jump rings to both of the ends of these and it should look something like this on your horse. Now cut a small piece of leather like this and then attach it to the side you want the buckle on. Now I'm going to attach it to this one. Now we're going to make the buckle. So to start off, I would recommend some thin but strong wire. Um, it depends on what scale you're making it for. And grab it with your needle nose pliers, I believe it's called. And bend it like this. And you basically want to make a square. So you're going to make one square. Like this. And then you just want to make another square. So bend it like this. And then like this. This is very hard to do on camera. I'm sorry. Um, but then you have the basic buckle shape. So you can just attach this to the strap as is. But if you want to take it to the next level, just keep watching. But if you don't want to do that, skip to the time code on screen and it will take you to the rest of the tutorial. So what we are going to do is we're going to make it adjustable just like in real life, um, like this with this little thing and holes so you can properly adjust it. So you want to take your thin wire, so you just want to make a very, very, very small loop. The smaller you can get it, the better, really. So what I usually do is I make a half circle and then just flatten it. So it's very small, just like this. And then you just want to cut it off like here. So basically what we're doing is we're putting this little loop piece onto the middle here. So what you want to do, you want to take some pliers and you want to just very carefully bend the middle piece outwards a little bit doesn't have to be a lot just for this piece to fit onto it like this and then just close the little middle piece up again then you can trim this piece to size so now you want to take the original halter piece put the bottom square I guess of the buckle onto it then you want to take this little piece, just pierce it through the leather, just like this. Then you want to take the remaining piece of leather and put it through the top square and glue it down. And now it should look like this. Now we're going to add the chin strap. So take a piece of leather and measure it from about where the spring is to around um, the middle of the chin. And then you want to add a little bit more so you can fold it over on the jump rings. Like this. Then cut another one the same length. And connect them with one jump ring. Just like this. Now glue this one to this jump ring. And the other side to the other jump ring at the other side. Optionally, you could also um, add a hook instead of um, gluing it onto the jump ring. So you just hook it onto the jump ring. And it should look something like this. Now cut a small piece of leather and glue it onto the chin strap's jump ring facing the muzzle piece. And then when you've done that, you want to glue on a small triangle piece um, out of wire, which is very straightforward to make. Just 
attach the glue onto this piece. Then attach another jump ring onto the triangle, like this. And now I want to open the jump ring and put it onto the bottom piece of the muzzle strap, just like this. Now the final thing to do is to add the long piece on the other side, right here. Just measure it over like this, and cut, just like this. Now if you were doing the simple design on the buckle, you could just leave it just like this. But if you did the advanced design, um, you're going to have to have some holes in the strap. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up a needle with a candle and poke small holes all around. And I had my mom help me with this, so please, please, please get an adult to help you. Because I do not want you guys to hurt yourself. So I took a needle and grabbed it with a tough pair of pliers and I just heated it up and then uh, poked a bunch of holes and then we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you understood everything and I really hope you were able to make yourself. So if you would like more sh like and horse videos, subscribe down below and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! So you can just attach it to this strip now, but if you want to... <laughs>